Hard to imagine it, but this was the parched plain on the outskirts of Coram where 30 years ago we saw the face of the famine that became one of the biggest disasters of modern times. Dawn, and as the sun breaks through the piercing chill of night on the plain outside Coram, it lights up a biblical famine. As the drought had deepened, I saw this priest handing out what food he had in Coram the previous year. Returning now, I showed him the film from that time. He was evidently moved by being reminded of the role he played. He said the famine was terrifying. At first, no one was providing food, and the suffering was very great. Had we not been helped by people from outside and by the government, he said, I would not be alive today. Even once the massive relief operation got underway, it was often fraught. I went to this camp where nearly 40,000 famine victims had just been forcibly expelled. The Ethiopian government now admits that the hasty dispersal of these people was a mistake. And today, one Ethiopian who led an international charities operations is still haunted by the memories. All the eyes of the mothers were on you, moving wherever you are going. And the children, infants, open their mouths and the gasping. And from that, you have to make a choice. Now, this staple crop, Tef, is produced in sufficient quantities. Farmers in this area where his charity works, that they supply it to other parts of Ethiopia as well as consume it themselves. There's better irrigation, road access, health care and schools. When I came 30 years ago, 15 to 20 people were dying every day here. This became known as the Valley of Death. Today, it seems, Ansokia is thriving. And what they've been trying to do is to ensure that the most vulnerable families are better able to withstand the hard times, any potential future famine. Abebe Aragao remembers the valley as a dust bowl in 1984. Now, he tends this flourishing orchard. We've learned a great lesson, he tells me. You see farmers working very hard. They have small wells and pumps, and I don't expect the area will ever see famine again. These women can now save thanks to starting this bakery. Well, for the most hard-pressed, today's Ethiopian government has an extensive safety net. But in the battle against undernutrition, much more land in Ethiopia could be producing harvests like this says a senior World Vision official. We are not using the full potential of the arable land we have. And uh, we are about using 30% of the land, the arable land we have. So, you know, uh, there is a potential, a big potential and strategy to, you know, produce more, increase the agricultural productivity so that, so that all the population can, can have food. Rapid population growth, severe environmental pressure remain big challenges. And Ethiopia will not be spared further droughts. The hope, though, is that the response now means that famine can be consigned to history. Mike Aldridge, BBC News.